So you've been using tools like Who is Active or SP Blitz Cache to click on execution plans. You're using SQL Server 2016 Service Pack 1, and something unusual is happening. When you go to click on a query plan, it renders in god-awful ugly XML instead of the beautiful execution plan that you're knowing and loving. So let me show you the root cause behind that. If I go back over to this other window, I got a pretty simple demo query. I'm gonna blow the plan cache, of course, always only in development. I'm gonna do a simple select from a sys databases system view. I'm also gonna set my deadlock priority to negative 10. Now the, the two queries that are important here is one, I'm gonna go hit a few system tables and the other, I'm not gonna go hit any tables. I'm just gonna go make a system command. Then I'm gonna go look at the sysdm exec cached plans system table. In order to get my query plans, I need to go pass in a bunch of plan handles. My goal here is that I'm gonna look at execution plans for both something that touches tables and something that does not. So if I go execute this, the first is just a list of databases. That's not really important here. But if I page down, I got a few different query plans. These are the results out of sysdm exec cache plans and query plans. Here's my select from sys databases. When I click on this one, I get the ugly XML. But when I click on set deadlock priority equals negative 10, and I look at his query plan, oh, I get a nice, beautiful little execution plan there. The reason behind this is SQL Server 2016 Service Pack 1 introduced a few new things inside the show plan XML. And what I think, I don't know this yet, but what I think is that the uh, show plan uh, XSD has not been updated to reflect those no fields. And so Management Studio plus other things like uh, pastetheplan.com, for example, are going, oh, I have no idea how to render this. Um, so click on the connect item that I've got in here that will go vote this up so that Microsoft can go fix this and we can start looking at our beautiful execution plans again. Now, in the meantime, if you want a quick workaround, here's what you do. Click on, I'm going to take my sys databases. Now, in order to see the execution plan for this, I'm going to say file, save as, and I'm going to save it as something else here. I'm going to stick it just on my desktop just to stick it somewhere. And I'm gonna put a pair of double quotes around it. I'm gonna say, uh, my beautiful plan dot SQL plan. You have to tell SQL Server what kind of uh, file this is going to be and close it off with double quotes again. Click save. Now close this and you can open it back up again. It should be under recent files, but it's not. I got a separate connect item for that one. Now instead, what we're gonna to have to do is go hit file open, point it at the file on our desktop. Here's my beautiful plan and click open. Oh, so just by saving it and then opening it back up again, then SQL Server Management Studio seems to be cured of its amnesia.